Hey Pisces, welcome to Pisces season. I'm super excited to let you know that we're gonna be doing a mega marathon this weekend. Like, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be the best, awesomest marathon I've ever, ever done. Completely dedicated for all of us Pisces suns and Pisces moons and risings to celebrate our Piscesness. Okay, <laughs> I am going to be doing this particular reading, which is going to be an opening freestyle reading with this beautiful, very special deck, the Skeletal Tarot. I have left in the community tab all the information so you can get it. This was a beautiful gift and uh, the designer of this beautiful, beautiful deck is listed in the community section so you can get to know her, her channel, and the whole thing. She is a tribe member, so let's support her, please. And let's enjoy this beautiful deck in this first reading. Before we start, please make sure that you're subscribed. Please make sure that um, you are you know, a part of the Pisces Club officially <laughs> before we start going through all of the magical things that we're going to be going through this Pisces season. I can't wait. All right. Let's see. Universe, what's up? Please bring us in through this deck the most relevant and important messages for the Pisces Collective as we begin this beautiful Pisces season 2021. Take it as it resonates, if it does. If it does not resonate, don't you worry because there's going to be so many readings that I'm pretty sure there's going to be more than one that is absolutely perfect for you. First card that we have here. Let's see. I'm going to actually do the full Celtic Ross first so I can see the context. This deck is so gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> All right, Pisces. So right now, the first thing that I'm getting is that some of you guys, as your birthday approaches, some of you, you know, you may be kind of happy and excited about it, but what I'm getting is that some of you could potentially be feeling a little bit intimidated by your age, like feeling like you're getting older, feeling like maybe things are going to start to be different because of your age or that period of your life you're entering into. That goes for very few of you, but for some, nonetheless. I feel, Pisces, like right now you could be desiring some clarity. You know, with this Two of Swords here, it seems like you're trying to make a very important decision at this time that may not be as easy. In this main card, we see a skeleton crying and over him or her, you know, He's holding a mask that is smiling. So Pisces, you may be covering some of your inner thoughts, some of your inner emotions. You may be not accepting them. You may not be showing them. You may not even be accept accepting them within your own self. Maybe you're feeling a little inadequate. Maybe you're feeling a little... Um, sad, depressed, older. I don't know. Some of you guys are definitely feeling older. And I feel like you may be trying to appear very put together, very happy, very excited about it, but there seems to be some kind of nostalgia, some kind of sadness here. And I see you sort of thinking about it, you know, being in your own space and just feeling it in the near future. So this Pisces season seems to be one of introspection of really feeling everything that is going on inside of you. And then you've got the Ace of Swords in your mind space. So I feel like you're definitely reaching a very, very powerful spiritual truth, a very powerful 
epiphany that is coming to you. I don't feel like you're there yet. I feel like you will be getting there soon. I think that you're going to be sort of like exploring the whole situation through a very spiritual lens in which you observe yourself from the outside. Maybe you're observing yourself putting on, you know, this facade, this mask, this, you know, happy face when you're actually, you know, not feeling that way at all. See? Some of you guys are going to start feeling more comfortable with owning your emotions in this Pisces season. You're going to be sort of like accepting that every single emotion, whatever it is, that whether it feels good or bad, it does have some wisdom to it or a lot of wisdom to it. And just, you know, acknowledging it and feeling it and seeing it is going to be normalized now. You're not going to continue to sort of like dis credit that part of you I guess it seems like you're definitely walking away from a moment in your life in which maybe you weren't completely honest maybe you weren't completely honest about what you liked what you disliked your personal views maybe you sort of like toned the volume of who you are down a little bit and now it's like you're walking away from that and you're choosing to be you Unapolog unapologetically and loudly and bright, bright, you know, this bright light that's, yeah, it's maybe a little bit too bright for some people, but it doesn't matter to you anymore. Some of you are definitely getting the birthday blues is what I'm getting. Some of you may actually feel like you want to celebrate, like you want to do so many things, but maybe the circumstances around you are not going to let you maybe because of the virus quarantines lockdowns storms you know <laughs> as we know there seems to be a lot going on all the time so you may be feeling kind of blue you may have all of these like super deep processes going on within you in which you remember the faces of your life and remember your teenage years or your childhood and sort of like reminisce about different things that you've done. And right now, you may feel like you're not doing much. Maybe you feel like you're not living all that much. And that can make you feel a little bit kind of pessimistic or sad. I do feel sadness here, <laughs> like big time. I feel this sense of sa sadness that sort of like stems from your heart. But it's not sadness that is based on external circumstances. It's not sadness because something happened. It's this very nostalgic sense of sadness that sort of pours from the soul, if that makes sense. Like existential sadness. However, things are good though. Maybe you're patiently waiting for the results of the things that you have invested in, your manifestations. Some of you hope to continue to be strong. Some of you might be kind of tired of being strong all the time. And with the King of Wands, with the King of Wands as your conclusion, Pisces, I feel like there is uh, energetic reprogramming that is happening within you in this season it's like either yeah i feel like you're being rewired it's as though the electrical system um is being replaced in you inside of you and you're leaving behind who you've always been you know and maybe you're more sad about it than you have realized Maybe you are entering into adulthood. Maybe you're entering into older age or you're entering into being a senior citizen or whatever, however you want to call it. And you're like, wow, you know, my teenage years are actually over, you know, or my 20s or my 30s or my 40s or my 50s or my 60s, you know, whatever. It's like, hmm. 
that phase is over and you're walking away from that. This resonates with me because I'm going into my 30s. And I don't feel sad about it, but you know, maybe deep down I do. <laughs> you know, look at that. Maybe when we allow things to sort of quiet down, when the time comes to do some introspection, maybe the sadness will flow. And that's what's showing up here for the majority of us. Let's see what the oracle, what additional messages are coming up. This one is going to be a short one, you guys. This is sort of like a, you know, where are we standing here with this Pisces season energy? And I definitely feel a journey that is open up, opening up outside. And it's a journey that's taking you towards success and happiness and abundance and gratitude. But internally, there seems to be another process completely different in which you're actually experiencing some loss, some grief, leaving behind who you've always been, leaving behind what you've always known. And there seems to be a sense, as I mentioned, of sadness. But it's like a beautiful sadness. Summertime sadness kind of thing. Prosperity. You're walking into a phase of your life in which you are going to have just... So much, Pisces. So much. It's like... So this is something that I can relate to. I don't know if you guys can relate to it, but I'm going to give it as an example, as I always do, and have you draw the parallels if it resonates with you. So when I was growing up, I in my teenage years, I would surf a lot, and I would go to the beach, and I would like camp everywhere you know go camping everywhere because i didn't have any money for like, hotels or anything like that my friends didn't either <laughs> so we would just you know get a tent and you know sleep somewhere and sleep in the car and just have fun and go to different places and just enjoy panama's nature right and i loved it and there were aspects about it that were definitely uncomfortable but there was this sense of it being awesome too like of course it was super uncomfortable to always be like sandy and sticky and full of sound block and having all these cuts on my feet because of you know the rocks or the corals or whatever and i was always sunburned it was uncomfortable right then but now it's like i miss it so much right and then you know when you grow older at least when i did you know i started to have more money and my friends started to you know want to go to like fancy hotels and boutique hotels and there is so much beauty in that too and it is a blessing but it's completely different you know it's not the same feel at all it may be better in many ways but there's a sense of me that will always treasure those messy <laughs> um, days of discomfort yet absolute bliss right and i feel like that is what's happening in a different way obviously for every one of us. It's like we're getting this upgrade as Pisces. We're getting this massive upgrade. And for some of you, it's going to be in regards to money. And it is going to change how you perceive life forever. So if there was beauty for you in, I don't know, doing things a certain way because there was no money, and that's what you're used to, and you sort of feel safe in that comfort zone or in that beauty because there's beauty in that, and now you're presented with all these options, you know, there's things that you're going to choose not to do anymore. And I feel like you're going to miss some of them sometimes. It's like you're leaving behind a whole way of being. There's new beginnings here. Every time there is a new beginning, there's also an ending and vice versa. And that's what I feel, Pisces. I feel like you are getting closer and closer to your dreams. You're going to be manifesting more and more. You're going to be elevating to a whole new level of abundance and prosperity. Externally, that's what the process is. But internally, it's a process of grief and letting go. All right. So that is what I have for you guys for this reading. This is the opening <laughs> of our marathon. So let's keep going. Let's... Let's keep digging and seeing what else is going to be happening. How else are we going to be feeling? How can we honor that which we're letting go? 
how can we step more fully into what we are manifesting um this is gonna be a magical weekend you guys thank you so much for joining me thank you for watching the videos feel free to binge watch this is gonna be a good one <laughs> i love you guys i'll see you in the next one bye